to grow and thrive. She can commit to us once she's older, and can really make that decision for herself. Is something up, Traveler? Huh? Tailing? Oh, Paimon's coming! I'll go check it out, too. Coulter, please hold on to this for me. Uh, all right. Paimon saw them, too! They had it up! Stop right there! <sighs> we knew you were going to be difficult! Seems like if we want them to talk, we're gonna need to teach them a lesson first. Brothers, there's no need to skulk in the dark anymore. Let's take them out! Now, talk. Who are you? And why were you tailing us? <sighs> Don't think we'll let you off easy if you keep silent. <sighs> How did it go, boss? Are any of you hurt? <laughs> if you thought they stood any chance against us, you were sorely mistaken. Anyway, stop playing tough and start talking. There won't be any room for negotiation once the Maison Guardianage gets involved. We... were looking to get vengeance on Spina de Rasula. We were discovered, and can't beat you in a fight. We admit it. We lost. Get revenge? Wait, you're not Romeu's followers, are you? You actually know that name? But if you do, then surely you should understand why we hate you so much! Indeed. You haven't got the faintest hope of winning right now. We were out drinking when we saw Navia. We got so angry we decided to follow you guys, and look for an opportunity to really mess up your day. Too bad you guys messed up ours first. Huh? You're pretty sharp. But so what? We didn't do anything. And now it should be pretty obvious that we can't do anything to you anyway. Seeing you like that just really ticked us off. And we let the drink go to our heads. <sighs> Listen. Callus is long dead. No matter what happened in the past, I want to be able to start things anew. I am the current president of Spina di Rosula. If your boss wants to talk with me, I'd be happy to meet with him. I won't press charges for your attack. That should also help demonstrate my sincerity. I understand. Thank you. I'll let our boss know. But if you so much as think about pulling something like this again, I won't be so lenient next time. Understood? All right. We get it. Come on, let's go. Uh, are you sure it's okay to just let them go like that, Navia? <sighs> I... Don't want to inherit my father's grudges, too. And moreover, when it comes to the Aquabus, I don't think what my father did was entirely correct, either. If the other side is willing to talk, I'm happy to open the door for a reconciliation. Opportunities for new beginnings are all around us. I support Boss's decision as well. The concept of an eye for an eye is a primitive practice that has no place in today's Spina di Rosula. Yes. Plus, we already know that they're strapped for cash. If their financial situation is that dire, they don't have what it takes to challenge us. So this may be the best time to talk. I still think we should keep an eye out for Romeo's folks, though. If he decides to ignore the warning I gave his men, then we could still have a fight on our hands. Yeah, those guys definitely didn't look like big fans of yours. I'd rather things not go that far, since... Though we haven't talked to each other for years, once upon a time we were all a part of the Spina di Rosula family. Yep. 
That's how I feel as well. Anyway, now that we've sent them packing, we don't have to worry about those guys anymore. It's getting late already. So why don't we stay the night in the Fleuve Sandra? We can head back to Poisson tomorrow. I'll also ask someone to write Florent a letter and inform him of everything that happened here today, so he can increase security around Poisson and be on guard against any suspicious individuals. Do we have to stay in the Fleuve Sondre again? Even the pillows there smell like seaweed. <laughs> Sorry, that's just what happens when you live near water and don't get much sunlight. Poisson's pretty much the same though, so I've long since gotten used to it. We can still go out in the evening for some grilled fish and drink so. Bet you there'll be people singing sea shanties too. How does that sound? Huh. That does sound pretty cool. Okay, Paimon's on board now. Let's go! Paimon wants to sing too! <laughs> 